Happy 4th of July, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Thor News one taker, and I'm talking about my favorite American volcano, or the Weather Channel. And I'm talking about news, and the volatile Bogslov volcano erupts again, again, in Alaska. And this is the volcano that um has been erupting of Alaska and creating an island, a giant, massive magma lava island. Uh, yes, a remote Alaska volcano is growing very fast as it creates its own island. That's impressive. Bogsalov Volcano has grown three or four times in size lately. And that's because there have been 36 eruptions. Wait, and what amount of time? It's been like this year. It just started erupting at the very beginning of the year. So in like six months, it's erupted. The Bugsaw Volcano has grown three times in area in four months. So yeah, it's just been erupting like six or seven times a month since the beginning of the year. So we got a lot of wild and wacky earth changes going on. So what's happening? Is the sun turning into a phoenix? Are we going into solar minimum? Is planet X inbound? Uh, is there a pole shift? I don't know, you know, and that's the thing is a lot of people know everything. So at times I'm like, why am I even making these videos? Everybody knows everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just kidding. I guess I'm being a little cynical today, but hey, I'm free to do that, huh? I just feel like positive or is negative. So it's like, all right, man, I'm, I'm, I'm staying positive, but I know that makes people cry out their butts sometimes when I'm positive. They're like, no, we're all going to fail. We're all going to die. I'm okay, sure, sure, fine, but I'm going to enjoy life either way. Story highlights, the Bogsloff Volcano emitted an ash cloud up to 36,000 feet into the air, which can be hazardous airliners. What? Holy crap, the thing is erupting airlines. Holy, like, no, that can't be right. That would be cool, though, to see, like, a volcano spewing out airplanes. Which can be hazardous airliners. You missed a word there. Well, it's the holidays. We're all kind of, they probably start drinking early. The peak has erupted periodically since mid-December of this year. Alaska's Bugsluff Volcano erupted for 16 minutes on Sunday, shooting a cloud of ash up to 36,000 feet into the air above the Aleutian Islands. The Alaska Volcano Observatory says the peak erupted around 1 p.m. local time, and the cloud, which was moving east, was not expected to drop ash on Aleutian communities or the mainland. Another thing is we don't really have any cameras out there or monitors. For some reason, our geologists aren't taking that. You know, they're just not paying a lot of attention to it. Um, they're not that interested in it, which is fascinating in itself. The Alaskan Volcano obs excuse me, Observatory says the peak erupted on 1 p.m. local time and the cloud, which is moving east, was not expected to drop ash on the Aleutian communities of the mainland. One thing we learned at Thor News last year was that for water to form, it has to form on like specks of dust or will it come from comets or volcanoes? So we got a ton of volcanoes going off, man. So I think that's adding to the rain. So it's just going to keep getting rainier and volcano year. Yep, definitely volcano year. Ash clouds about ash clouds above 20,000 feet can harm airliners flying between Asia and North America. The observatory raised the aviation alert code to warning level, the very highest level. An aerial view of smoke billowing from Alaska's Bulksluff volcano on June 22, 2017. Game McGimsey, that's a cool name, a research geologist with the observatory said the observatory will reassess the color codes early Monday. Bugslov has erupted periodically since mid-December. The volcano is 850 miles southwest of Anchorage. So there you go, people. We got this badass American volcano that just keeps on keeping on. That's fascinating to me. All right. God bless everyone. And thank you to the soldiers who stand on the wall protecting what we have left of freedom and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Hopefully one day, 
we can give you guys a system that will be fair to you no matter what. We need to treat our veterans with the very best health care possible. They sacrificed for us. We should definitely make sacrifices for them. All right, peace out. Talk to you guys soon. Y'all have a good, safe, happy 4th of July. All right, peace out.